Hey you guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this tiny little cat on the scroll saw. This is a compound cut again and you will find the pattern on my website at www.skylarewing.store. Super, super simple pattern to make, but you do have to be careful. This is why I'm making this video. I want to show you that when you shape the kitty cats, you have to separate the ears because they do not come separated from the pattern. We'll start with the pattern just like this. We'll uh, fold it in half, not in half, but we'll fold it on the line. And then I will use some spray adhesive and just spray this paper, make sure it doesn't fly away. You can use a small stick to hold it down. I did not do that and it was flying all over the place. But I put some adhesive on the paper and then I found the blank. Mine is about one inch by one and a half inch. I do not know what kind of species of wood it is. I found it in the, you know, trash bin and I put my pattern on it let it dry and then after it's all dry it's time to go to the scroll saw I cut the extra piece off and then I cut the piece that is in between the legs and then I cut the other side that is in between the legs and then I started with the narrow side and just cut the outline super easy cut I use a number seven Pegas geometry modified blade then I put some tape to tape the piece back together because I wanted to keep it together and then I cut the outline of the other side. So far everything is just normal, just any like any other compound cut. So you see me finishing the cut over here and then we end up with pretty squarish cat. So I'm using this uh, Dremel like tool to first separate the ears. So I'm just holding it down in between the ears and that just makes a divot. And there you go. Uh, now we have two ears for our kitty cat, but the cat is pretty square, so we need to round it up. First, I will go from the sides of the face to just kind of thin it out and give it a little bit more 3D look. And then I'm going around all the edges and take away the squareness, round it out. And um, that's what I'm doing right here. The tail also, it's kind of fanned down from the pattern. It looks like a mermaid tail. So I'm taking off the extra material, trying to make it skinnier. And this tool really makes it easy to get them between the legs too. So you can round it around. The finished product in the end was still a little bit rough. I didn't send it too much. I just wanted to make this video quickly so you can see if you buy the pattern, so you can see how to shape it. Here I'm making a neck because the cat has a very thick neck. So I'm just kind of holding the tool around the neck and thinning it out to separate the head from the body. And I think that just gives it a better look in the end. I'm rounding the back as well. And still rounding around the tail and the legs. And really, it didn't take long. This whole thing, I think it took maybe 10 minutes. And uh, we are almost done with the shaping. Of course, I had to hand set a little bit too. So if you fold your sandpaper in half, then you can fit it in between the legs and sand between the ears. And like I said, I didn't sand mine very well. I just did the minimum I could just to show it to you guys. The tail be careful because it could be fragile. It's pretty skinny, but uh, all in all, this is the way it looks after you sand it and round it up. And then I was getting ready to put a finish on it. For the finish, I wanted to keep it a really, really simple. Just wanted something that I can wipe on, wipe off. So I just used some tongue oil, pure tongue oil that is. Uh, it is thinned out with a little bit of mineral spirits. Usually you want to uh, thin it out 50 50 but that's what I'm using and I'm using this brush just so I be able to get them between the legs and around the tail so just quickly brush it on and then with a lint free uh, cotton rag I will wipe off the ex excess I do like this uh, lumber whatever it is it makes it look really like a spotted cat so I gave it a little bit of wipe and there is our friend and what is life without friends? So I had to make another one just so my little kitty cat has a friend. Oh, I think she stole the kiss. <laughs> 